It's one of the, the coolest heat guns you can ever buy from Steinel. They're actually located here in, in uh, the other side of the hall. We, we sell this gun for uh, for $199. And what I like about it, it's not just any heat gun. It's a specific heat gun that you can have actually presets in here. So if you're going to do suede or different kind of vinyl, I like to set this at like 600 degrees for a vinyl, 200 degrees for suede, and you won't actually won't burn it at all. So it's it's really cool. It's made in Germany and it's actually accurate within five degrees. So it's it's a really nice heat gun. It just doesn't blow a lot of hot air. You guys ever burnt the vinyl before? Yeah, this doesn't do that. So I, it already comes with presets. I can control the, the fan speed and the intensity. And what's also nice is when you're finished, you just turn it off and it's finished. So we're just gonna heat this up. The number one mistake that we see people do, uh, in upholstery work is they don't let that glue dry. They just glue it on, put the glue on, and, set, and put the material on, and, and it just loose right off. You need to have uh, this glue dry and this, and then when you put the two together, they bond really good, and it won't lift. But, uh, you know, not waiting can cause that to lift up. All right, looks like it, this is, it feels dry to the touch. So we'll go ahead and see, uh, see how good this is gonna work. Like I said, I usually wait about 20 minutes for that glue to dry. Sometimes I'll even let it sit overnight and I'll do another coat in the morning if it's a real critical panel with a lot of curves. But vinyl and upholstery work is, you know, one of the, the top topics that we teach in our training seminar. The vinyl I'm using is an OEM vinyl. It's actually a Detroit vinyl. So the, it, it uh, has a nice grain to it and matches really well. It's uh, probably not the most stretchy vinyl, but that's not really my concern. The most, mostly what I look for in vinyl is the texture and the color, so I don't have to dye it. You want to get the factory color. There's actually another supplier that I like to use called Veteran Company. They're here in this hall as well, and they sell all the OE fabrics and stuff. So if you guys are building cars, you know, get the good, get the good vinyl, get the OEM vinyl. It's, it's really the best stuff. Another little trick you can use with, with the vinyl is actually roll it up backwards. So if you have a large piece, it's not going to stick to itself, and then you just unroll it as you need it. So let's go ahead and uh, just place this on here, and then we'll add some heat to it. Heat it up. Let's see how this embossing does. I like to use like a little pry tool or uh, right angle pick works good press that material in there. 